In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in AlOH3. That's aluminum hydroxide. So first thing, let's write the element symbols down. We have aluminum, that's Al. Then we have oxygen. And then we have hydrogen. For aluminum, there's nothing written after it, no subscript. We assume that to be 1. So we have 1 aluminum atom. The same for oxygen and hydrogen. Nothing's written after them, so we have 1 of each. But they're in the parentheses here. So everything in the parentheses is multiplied by the subscript here on the outside. So we have 3 times 1. That gives us 3 oxygen atoms. 3 times the 1. That gives us 3 hydrogen atoms. So when you have things in parentheses, you multiply things in the parentheses by the subscript. If we wanted to know the total atoms for AlOH3, this aluminum hydroxide, we just add these up. 3 plus 3, that's 6, plus 1. So we have 7 total atoms for AlOH3. Sometimes you're asked how many atoms of, say, oxygen there are in one mole of aluminum hydroxide. To do that, you just multiply the number of atoms by Avogadro's number. So 3 times Avogadro's number will give us the number of oxygen atoms in one mole of aluminum hydroxide. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in AlOH3. Thanks for watching.